Hey everyone, Epilepsy here bringing you Animal Crossing New Leaf. We are on day 5, I believe? And last time in Animal Crossing New Leaf, if you guys have not seen the last episode, we got our town approval rating up to 100%, which is awesome. Um, we also met Tortimer, we're going to be going on the island, but we're going to be checking our mail real quick. We got three letters, let's just do a quick read and see what's going on. We got one from Axel, and it reads, Thanks for writing me. I'm feeling totally pumped now, and I just got new, a new exercise mat, and I was and was using it to do flips. Not my best idea. Send help. Remind me to flex for you. Muscles, Axel. I love Axel. He's probably one of my favorite villagers right now. We got another one from Savannah. Greetings, Zach. I was truly touched by your recent letter. Thank you. I know my handwriting isn't very good. I hope I'm not making you squint. Let's get together to chat. She said the same thing yesterday in her last letter. It was kind of funny. But we also got one from Frida. Um, hey there, Zach. You totally rock for writing me a cool letter like that. Chilling with friends is fun, but sometimes I like quietly written, uh, quietly writing letters. Don't tell. That's it for me. For now. Later. Frida. That's why I like Frida. <laughs> okay. But, um, today we have a little bit of a crazy agenda to do. We have to go build a public works project. We have to go introduce ourselves to the newest neighbor, and we have to go to the island. So... Let's actually go up and run to the new neighbor because they are right here. The new neighbor is actually Kyle, who is a wolf, um, which is pretty awesome. Wolves are uh, probably some of the coolest neighbors in this. But uh, as you see, Kyle looks like a bad boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, you're a new face. And I bet you're Zach, right? Yeah, you're the one everyone talks about. Good to meet the guy who's made this town so great. I just moved here. I'm Kyle, and there's one thing to know about me. I like sarsaparilla, <laughs> at least <laughs> right now. By tomorrow, it will be something else. I make the trends. I break the trends. But I know what's cool forever, and that's you, Zach. I can just tell. Alpha. <laughs> okay. Um. Apparently, he likes sarsaparilla. So if there was any way for us to give him sarsaparilla, we would be able to give him sarsaparilla. But um, I think what we should do right now is we should just do the quick morning routine um, grab all the rocks and get all the fossils and I will be right back and we are finally back um, we found all the fossils we found the money rock and we found the gem rock um, I'm just gonna go into the town hall and see what the public work projects are going to look like just because we we can get that out of the way right now since we're right here um, Let's see what she has for us today. Come on, Isabella. Isabella, come on! Tell me what you're gonna do! Ah, oh, Mayor, you came at a great time. Your town development permit is here! Yay! It's finally here! Influence the growth of palette by setting ordinances. So, with setting an ordinance, we can choose to be nighttime, daytime, um, what was the other ones? I forget what the other ones. You can have, I just know night owls. You can have other things and stuff and things and stuff. Okay, let's find out what you want. Is there something I can help you with? Let's look at the ordinances. So, an ordinance it costs... I forget how much. 20,000 bells. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, let's see what we can find. We have a beautiful town, which is... I don't think you get weeds. And everyone plants flowers. An early bird town. Everyone in your town wakes up early. And shops start earlier, but everything closes earlier. Night Owl, everything stays open later, and people stay open later. In Wealthy Town, everything is more expensive, but you can sell things for more money. Um, if you guys would like to, you guys can tell me what kind of town you would like me to run in the uh, comment section below, and uh, I will take everyone's things. But we're going to start with building a project. Um, we actually got a suggestion from Deandra, 
and she said that we should build the campsite first. So hopefully there's the campsite. Um, where are you, campsite? Campsite, 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 campsite. Is that it? Yes, so we're gonna build a campsite first. That way we can get more villagers in our town. So I gotta just go and look for a place to put this, um, which is going to be a little bit of a hassle, because, you know, it, there's so many places in this town. Um, but I think I have an idea. So, I'm thinking about putting the campsite right on my little island, and it's too close to the river. Oh, goodness. Why? Why? Why are you too close to the river? Oh, is here good? Please? Yes, Mayor. This is, this is where it's got to go. Okay, perfect. That way, they have their own little kind of isolated spot, and... I could just plant trees around it to make it even more campy, I guess. Um, but now we got this guy named Lloyd, who is a gyroid, and you talk to him, and you can donate money. And I guess he's a donation box, so I guess you put it in his mouth or eyes or something, which is weird. Uh, but now we got the first public work projects here, and now we can make the first donation! Oh my goodness, it's 60,000 bells about. Oh my gosh, I'll cooperate. I'll put 10,000 bells. That's what we'll do. That way, we only need about 50,000 more. Still extremely uh, far away from it being complete, but hey, we're almost there. <laughs> but now we're gonna go actually to the dock and we're gonna see Tortimer. I think. Uh, no. Actually, we're gonna go see Blathers first, because I have a lot of stuff that just needs to be dropped off. So, we'll be right- Oh, never mind! Here's Frida that wants to talk to me! What's up, Frida? Zach, greetings are really important, don't you think? So you hear a good greeting, and right away you get an idea of what that person's all about. You think there's some kind of greeting that would help me make the best impression? Of course! Oh my goodness, I have the perfect one! Uh... I don't know. I, I want something to do with burgers and french fries and and something. I don't know what to call it. Uh, hmm. I'll think of something really good and we'll be right back. Okay, so I think we got a really good one. Friolator! What do you think of this one? I know it sounds more like an exit than a greeting, but I thought Friolator would be awesome for her. That's pretty cool. I know it is because you're made of french fries and burgers and stuff. I was going to go with something like McDonald's, but I thought Friolator would be awesome. So we're going to actually just go up to Blathers right now. Oh my goodness, I need to get a slingshot. Because if you get slingshots, you can shoot this down, get um, balloon furniture. And with balloon furniture, what you can do is, I think if you shoot down 15 balloons, you get um, a gold slingshot, which is awesome too. Hey Cole, what's up? We'll come back and talk to him later, but let's go to Blathers. And now we're here with Lathers, just gonna drop off a few things, and hopefully we will be on our way very, very, very shortly. Um, I have a few bugs for him, so I should have assessed the fossils first, but I did the bugs first. And he's not actually scared of all of the bugs. I thought he maybe he would be upset that I'm giving him three bugs in a row, because, you know, he doesn't like bugs. But we're gonna just assess these fossils. Mmm, I don't think we're gonna have any repeats, really. Yesterday we had a repeat, but I don't think today we're gonna have any repeats. Um, we're still really empty for our museum, and I still need to get, um, one more, uh, piece of work to put in the museum, and then I could unlock and upgrade my museum. Um, but I still need to wait for a special character to come in, and when he comes in, we will all know, because that'd be awesome and we'll be able to buy something from him. But, I think we should head down to the dock. Um, I don't think there's anything really left to do up here. Maybe we'll go see Nookling Junction and we'll just get everything up here on Main Street, just done out of the way. Um, and then we'll probably go down to um, the dock. Yeah, there's nothing in here. This is awful. This is so awful. I'm sorry, you guys just don't have anything I need. Oh my goodness. Oh, man, I should probably buy more um, to upgrade, but it's just, I just don't want to. I just don't want to be stuck with stuff I just will never use. So we're going to actually go to see the Able Sisters. Um, Mabel 
is here. Oh my gosh, Cole's in here. So I guess we'll talk to Cole since we're up here too. But let's talk to Sable. You need something, do you think? Clerk over there. Yeah, she's always gonna send us away. But let's see. What are you up to, Cole? Uh, what sort of clothes are you buying today? I don't think I'm buying anything unless, uh, oh my goodness, I should wear that. But no, no. <laughs> we're gonna see what LaBelle has. If LaBelle has a beanie, I'm buying it. I'm sorry. I, I need to get a beanie. And she doesn't have a beanie. Ooh, but she has a gas mask. Ooh, I could be a ninja. Oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be a ninja. Let's test it. Let's test it on. I look awesome. Oh gosh, no, I look like crud. Oh my goodness, I don't want that. No, sorry. Sorry, I don't look cool. I need a whole ninja outfit, and I, there just isn't really anything cool on sale. Um, so I'm probably not going to be able to upgrade these guys anytime soon as well. But hey, I keep talking to uh, Sable, and that's all that matters. So let's head down to the dock and go to the island. So we are here at the dock, and we got a new character. Who I just almost smacked in the head with a shovel. This is Cap'n. Gar, what in a dick blue. Do me peepers peep our new mayor, Zackle. Yar har, oh, Tortimer left a whale of a job on to a wee minnow. Nar, don't pay me no mind. I'd be known as Cap'n. Very folks across the briny deep to the island and back in me boat. If ye fancy yourself an ocean voyage to the island, why not hustle over here, ye wee shrimp sandwich? Yeah, we're gonna go on a voyage. Yeah, for a thousand bells, um, he will send us to the island, and we actually get an awesome thing from Cap'n while we're on our way to the island. So, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but we'll let Cap'n do all the talking. That's what I think we should do. Well, singing, I guess. So here we go, our adventure. <laughs> What a beautiful voice, Captain. Thank you so much for the weirdest songs ever. But hey, we learned something. Be nice to girls, and they'll be nice to you. So don't pull their hair, just hold their hands, or something like that. And hold doors open. That's what he was saying. Something like that. So, now, we are on the island, which is extremely awesome. As you can see, there are some awesome items here that you can buy. I think this is a hibiscus. Oh my goodness, I don't have a single thing. But, uh... Yeah, this is a yellow hibiscus. They grow in the spring and summer, I believe. You can get cabana furniture here. But to get the stuff, you have to go on tour with um, this woman. But we're just going to go quickly out here and see what is out on this island out here. As you can see, we have red hibiscus, trees, more hibiscus. Oh, just... Butterflies galore! We have coconut trees, which help us get beetles, and just, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. This is just the most perfect place ever, and we are definitely going to be spending a lot of time here. But I think we should actually just go show off the tour, because um, all you have to do is when you're here, you talk to Lloyd, and he'll let you lend any furniture, or not furniture, any tool, like a bug net, uh, you can go diving and stuff. But we're not going to really show that today because, well, it's too early. And I think the island is really more fun when you have lots of people. Um, the more people you have in your village, the, the better, I feel. 
but we're gonna just go quickly show off a, a mini game or two, and we're gonna see exactly what's up. So we're gonna do a tour. Oh my goodness! Just let me do a tour. Yes, I want to register. Let's go on a tour right now. Uh, let's go on the hammer tour. This is probably one of the most fun tours ever. In three minutes, you have to beat the crud out of a little, um, a little, uh, RC car that looks like a, I think it looks like an acorn, but I think it's based off Tortimer. If anything, it might be based off Cornimer from, uh, the Acorn Festival. But it's pretty awesome. So you just gotta hit this thing like 30 times or something. So we're just gonna go and run around and beat the crud out of this thing. Yeah, that's one. Oh, goodness. Get over here. That's two. Three. Oh my goodness, I just wanna get ahead of it. Four. Five. Oh my goodness. No, get over here. Oh! I'm so bad at this game. Oh my goodness. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Yes. Watch this. Oh yeah. Oh no, I'm, I'm so bad. Oh no. Oh no. Get over here. Come on. We can do this. Yes. Yeah, see, when you get in front of it, it goes in a straight line, and you just be able to just beat the crud out of it without it like doing anything. And that's like the best part about this mini game. It's just you. You get to. Uh, let out a lot of uh, stress and anger against a little innocent RC car. So, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm so bad, I'm so bad. I think we uh, are getting close to it though. And I think what he said is if you beat it 30 times, it like breaks down and goes insane. Yeah, it's starting to go insane right now. But, uh, I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen it really... Gosh, get over here. Oh my goodness, it's so sporadic. Oh my goodness, get over here. Oh! Yes! Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's do it. And I think it fixes itself. As soon as it, after it goes, like, completely sporadic, it'll start fixing itself. I'm not even sure if it's sporadic yet. I think it just might just be almost there. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I, I just haven't done this in forever. Oh my goodness, I missed again. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Get over here, get over here. Oh, man. This thing is just going to be, like... This is, like, I don't even know. This is so rude to, like, beat up an innocent little RC car. Oh my gosh, get over here. Get over here. I wanna beat you up. Come on. Let me just let me just bash you over the head a bunch of times. And I think what you can do is you can actually unlock the hammer. Okay, yes. Yeah, so when you beat it enough, it'll flip upside down, and you can just beat it some more. And then now it's just gonna continue doing its little thing. So now we have 30 seconds left, but I think what you can do is there's a way you can get the hammer um, just in your village so you can bash people with your hammer and it just squeaks or something, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I forget how. It might be a glitch to get it, but I think it's really awesome. I would love to get the hammer because, you know, I just go bashing people over the head all the time. It releases so much stress. So we hit this thing. Let's see how many times we've hit this thing. I'm hoping that we hit it enough to get a decent uh, score. 89 times. So we got six medals, which is awesome. Okay, so what you need, you use medals to buy stuff at the island and all that awesome stuff. Um, as you can see, there's... Cabana wallpaper, if I'm not mistaken. Mermaid wallpaper, because there's mermaid furniture and cabana furniture here. Um, and there's the yellow hibiscus, which is five minerals. So we could buy that, and we could plant it, and we could grow hibiscus, and every, uh, when it rains, you can catch snails on hibiscus plants. Um, I think you can sell stuff to her, um, so you don't have to pack it all in here. Like, fishing and stuff. Um, but I don't think we're gonna go fishing or anything, guys. Um, I think we're actually going to head back, and we're going to go talk to a few of our villagers, because we did not talk to any villagers yet. 
but yeah, the island is pretty much you just get to do tours. Like I said, the island's really only fun if you have enough people. But we're gonna be uh, serenaded yet again by Cap'n. Thank you so much, Cap'n, for the other song. I love Cap'n's little songs. I think they're probably one of the best things in this game. But we're going to go looking for other villagers. Um, ooh, there's Axel, actually. So we're going to go stop Axel. I love how Axel has this huge grin on his face. Like, I just don't even know what to say about him. Uh, did he scare away that bug? Oh, huh, poor Axel. So, Axel, what's up? Hey, champ, gotta love this weather. Perfect training conditions. Wah! What can I help you with? I want to chat, dude. Go for a jog. Destination will be your house. Haha. -ha. What do you say? Could be tons of fun. Let's do it! So, I think we're... Are we racing to his house, or are we just... Is he coming to visit my house? I think he's actually coming to visit my house, which is really cool, Um, because... Villagers will ask occasionally, or, well, they won't really ask. They'll just be like, yo, we're coming to your house, and you'd be like, oh. Okay. So, he's actually going to be coming to visit my house. He's probably going to say that it's complete garbage, and it looks awful, and it's dark and stuff. But, uh, we'll see what he has to say. Mine... <laughs> my mind is racing. Think of all the reps and sets we could do here. Yeah, probably because there's so much room. Um, and I think they will be able to buy stuff. Oh, protein shakes. Okay, we'll get you protein shakes. And, let's see, hold on a second. These walls are totally bare. If you're having trouble reaching a certain height, I could totally help you, you know? See, yeah, he's already telling me that my house is pretty bare. Oh, you like the watermelon chair? Oh, you take a big bite of the watermelon? <laughs> okay, good thing you won't, because I need it to sit. But, uh, actually, we're actually gonna head out. I'm sorry, bud. But thank you for stopping by. I wanted to go see Matilda. She's in her house. Um, Savannah's still missing, so I really don't know, I and mean, Axel didn't come out of my house. That's awkward. Um, we're probably gonna bump into him somewhere, <laughs> but he didn't exit my house. Is Axel just living in my house now? Oh no! Oh no, Axel! Why? Is it because I got you the carp? <laughs> but, um, we're actually gonna go see Matilda real quick. Talk to her, get everything situated because she's naked and all that kind of stuff. Um, what's chat? I say you're wondering in decor or something new. Oh, I went. So how about I just leave it? Okay, so she wants to get her furniture, and ironically, I have furniture for her. So let's give her this popcorn machine. No, we won't give her a popcorn machine. Here, have a birdwing butterfly. I was going to save it for the next bug catching tourney, but I can just catch more. Oh, a birdwing Oh, let's see. You're going to set it up? Pretty exciting for... Okay. Now, she's going to put it in her room, which is awesome, because if you give them, like, furniture and stuff, they put it in the room, and she's... Oh, she lost that one thing that... Oh. So she gave me the storage case, which she got rid of, in place of the bird and butterfly. Which is really awesome. Um, that gives me more stuff to put in my house, but I'm probably not going to put anything in my house just yet. I'm really lame, and I just want to build my house up, and I want a certain set. Um, I keep trying to, uh, get modern furniture and stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna talk to Frida. What's up, Frida? I, I know we already talked to her today, but hey, why not? We'll just talk to her again. Yo, Zach, you're gonna make rare, uh, make laws and stuff. Kind of rebel, but even if I looking forward. Okay, she's a rebel. She's, she's pretty much told me she's playing a breaking the law. Okay, pretty, uh, pretty awesome, I guess. But, oh my goodness, where's Savannah and Peanut? We ran into everyone else, just not Savannah and Peanut. Ooh. <gasps> Okay, guys, we actually just found something, like, insane. This thing is a bug, and it's not an item, even though it may look like an item. It is a bug. Bam! And we caught a leaf bug, a walking leaf. So, 
Yeah, if guys see anything that you did not shake out of a tree, it's most likely going to be the uh, walking leaf. So where are they? Uh, well, I'm going to go look for them, and we will, uh, yeah. So I thought I would check the museum, and it turns out the Savannah and Peanut are not in my museum. So I really have no idea where they are. Um, I don't think they're in the shops, because, well, I was in the shops earlier and didn't see them. Um, they could be... I don't think they would be back there, because I haven't even gone back there. But, uh, if anything, we will just not talk to them today, or I will talk to them later off-camera. Um, because, well, I love talking to Savannah. Peanut, eh, Peanut's iffy. <laughs> She's very, uh, cute, though. So, but... Okay, there's Savannah. Okay. At least we found Savannah. Hi, Savannah. What's up? Let's talk. I'm learning about what different clothing styles blend when you're on vacation. Sounds cool, Savannah. So you're not going to tell us to any about anything other than clothes while we're in um, the store. But I think this is just about it. We don't really have anything else to do. Um, we managed to do everything that I think we were supposed to. On this episode of Animal Crossing New Leaf, we actually got some stuff done. We managed to go to the island and get a basic idea of what we're going to be experiencing more on Fridays because I'm going to be having people come to my village or going to other people's villages and I think the island is a great place to uh, have a lot of fun in town and stuff. Also, we started the public work projects so I just need to get that thing paid off and hopefully that won't take too long, so I can get campsites and get some uh, villagers coming through the campsite. Um, I think tomorrow on Animal Crossing New Leaf, I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing. We might work on getting t uh, Tom Nook his money to expand our house. We also were probably going to try to get the campsite completely built. That way we can get everything going. I think we also are going to have another new character coming into our town, or getting ready to come into our town, as we're going to also be able to meet Kyle and talk to Kyle a little bit more and get his whole story. But, everyone, please, stay safe, have fun, and as always, later!